Eric, I'm going to attempt to make a video here for you of your, this razor that you have that you left me, uh, the one with the striped scales. So this is the bevel set the way it is right now. And I'm going to use a key to stone. Here's your razor here. And this is the key to I'm going to use Put down here. I'm using a different camera, so I'm this might be a little bit awkward at first, but here's the stone, and I have my trusty Tomonagra Erase a slurry. Here, this could be the weight of the razor. I'm not really pushing down that hard on any of these strokes. Okay, here's the, the razor now. There's some little deep scratches there from the bevel setting. But already you can see a lot of scratches are gone and we're just left with the dark, darker ones now. There's a nick there. We'll see if we can get down through that. But that was um, 15 strokes for the slurry. I'm going to refresh that slurry a little bit. Actually, that first session, that was 21 strokes, and this is going to be 21 strokes also. So now we have 42 strokes on the razor. Getting more refinement there. Um, those heavy strokes, it's going to be a challenge for sure. So I go back to the to stone, and now I'm going to use the stone as a handheld stone.
Okay, let's take a look at this. I have a water bath over here. You. Okay, that's pretty much in focus. Here's some of those. Here's a darker scratch. You can see we're, we're getting close to the edge here now, as far as wearing those scratches through. There's a dark one that, that led up to the very edge at first. So if I can come back to that scratch, that would be nice. I'm going to go back to the stone and we'll put some more effort into this razor. We're going to um, kick up some more slurry. And this is fresh uh, slurry, you know, fresh grit particles. We went through quite a lot of work with just that first slurry. We had uh, with those circles and 42 strokes. That did represent quite a lot of effort. And the slurry does break down. And I'm going to leave a little patch of the slurry up here. So as a reference, you can see how dark the slurry is getting that I've already worked on. Okay, and here's that work slurry compared to the original um, more yellow type slurry there. One more time, we'll go back up to the... Okay, here's the state of the razor currently. Just try to move that up a little bit in the Okay. And that's focused there. So I'm gonna look for that scratch that we were first I like, oh, there's, there's one that could have been it right there. Possibility. This is going back where we just came from. There's what's left of the scratch there. It's perfectly in focus. There's what's left of a scratch there. Well, you can see um, that the majority of those deep scratches are pretty much worn through. And let's go down towards the base of the bevel. And there's a really deep scratch there. We can follow that up. That one dissipated before it reaches the edge. 
It's because it slurry fine tunes the edge portion rather than down at the base of the bevel. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to do some stropping. I think you can, that's my window. Here's my strop. <clears throat> I have a fire hose element here. A lot of fellows are using these now. Here's uh, my leather strop. Well, one thing I want to mention is that I used a piece of tape on your spine for the bevel set on the 1K King, but then I changed it uh, before or just before I started making the video for the um, finishing stages. So just to give it a little chance of of success. I did put in some fresh tape. And let's see how the stropping refine the edge. Okay, that's looking um, a lot brighter. There's still a little sawtooth action on the edge there. So what I'm going to do, and there's the shadow of that, uh, that one deep scratch that we were looking for. So next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to raise another light slurry using a tomonagra. This is a piece of Asagi. Okay, that's looking pretty sharp there. And we have uniform scratch pattern. Look for that deep scratch somewhere along there. Um, that could be it. The lower left there. Uh, but in any case, next thing I'm going to do is um, pack the strop.
So that cleaned up the edge quite a bit. This, I think, is that same scratch that we were watching quite a while ago. And I'll follow that down if I can. And I think this is probably that same scratch that we followed all the way up. It's gotten a lot shallower now. Okay, so, well, there's a deep scratch there too. Let's follow that. Okay, that one peters out right there too. And there's a, a small nick in the blade. But in any case, the next thing I'm going to try is a hanging hair test. I have a table here with some hair. And this razor of yours, it's marked TV, made in the USA. Heart steel. Oh, this is that heart steel razor. Okay. So here's my hair. That was, I would say, a, a good four. And that was a five. It went to the other side of the razor. These are silent HHTs. That just fell to the other side. Turn the razor. One thing is, um, this hair's sort of curly, but uh, this is the kind of results we're getting here. These are fives. That was a little awkward. I think this is um, root in on that side, and this is root out. That was like a, a difficult five, but anyhow, that's as far as I could get with a minimum number of strokes, and I didn't do any water only. I should have done some water only strokes now that I think about it. But that's actually so with off a, a Tomonagara slurry. Okay, that's the end of the, you know what? I've gone so far over the 15 minute. I might as well make a two part um, video out of this. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna do some water only strokes. So I'll rinse off the stone. I still have the tape razor and I'll do some water only strokes. I want to rinse the stone off. I can feel um, the razor sucking in a little bit to the stone. Well, hopefully that made some difference. Any little bit will help. But um, the razor was pretty sharp there to begin with.
And that's looking really nice. Focus that a little bit. And I'll go down to the base again and look for those larger, deeper scratches. That's in and out of focus there. It's, it's just a shadow of a previous scratch. But there's a Kasumi finish all the way down to the, to the base of the bevel here now. Those are just going in and out of focus. Those are just shadows of a, a deeper scratch. This is a really wide bevel, you know that, on your razor. So there's really, all those scratches are pretty much gone. Yeah, this is a really wide bevel. Okay, so this magnification is at, at 300. So let's try the HHT again. Let's see what we've gotten on that. Um, here's a couple pieces of hair. This is um, it's like trying to pull the worm. So that was a violin. Those were this isn't necessarily the best quality here. That was another violin. I think with stropping, a little more stropping, this would probably um, the razor would feel a lot sharper, but it's sharp already. These are at least fours, if not fives I'm getting. Takes a little effort though. That was hung up on the razor. So I'm gonna send you the razor like it is now and uh, you can try how to shave it. I'm probably gonna shave it before I send it to. Okay, that's the end of this video, 24 minutes.